Let's take a look at graphing inequalities in two variables. It's my website, www.mathheels.com. Uh, you can go here and find more links to YouTube math videos. If I go down to graphing calculators, I'll eventually have that say graphing calculator slash technology. And click there. You can go in by subject, and I'm working my way through the subject, starting college algebra. And these are all the different topics that you can do on a graphing calculator. And I'm going through and doing it for all the different calculators. Now, if you just need general help in college algebra, you can go to the top link, the math class information. I'll eventually rename that as math lectures. And then you go into college algebra. And if you're struggling with a particular topic, you can watch the YouTube video corresponding to it. Like if you're struggling with absolute value inequalities, you can click the YouTube video here. This is a full lecture. This is the exact same one I use in the classroom. Same example, same explanation. Okay. Well, let's look at this one here. Graphing inequalities in two variables. And, um, actually I was going to erase that, but I guess I can use part of that. That works out nice. Let's erase part of this. There we go. Okay, to begin with, if you got a less than or less than or equal to, then you're going to go below. If you're greater than or greater than or equal to, you'll go above. If you got a less than or greater than, it's going to be a dotted line. If you got less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, it'll be a solid line. Now these are all assuming y's on the left side. So let's look at our first problem. We got y is greater than 3x minus 1. Well, if I come over here, greater than is above. And greater than down here is dotted. Well, let's see uh, what that means. Okay, so I come back here. I'm going to go into my y equals. So I do diamond F1. You could also go to apps and go and do it. And then I'll do 3x minus 1. So 3x minus 1. And I'll press uh, enter. But now I'm going to do an up arrow to highlight 3x minus 1. Now you see the style menu. It says F6. To get into that, we'll do second F1. And the very bottom, you see it says above and below. Well, we said this one's above. So I'll do 7 for above. And now if I pre do my graph, I do diamond F3. This would almost be our answer. The only thing it doesn't give you is whether the line that separates the shaded from the non-shaded region is dotted or solid. And we just said it's dotted. So, this particular problem here, I'll be dotted. Like that. And then this is shaded over here. And that's our answer. Now yeah, let's look at another example. We've got this one. So we've got y is less than or equal to x squared plus 2x minus 1. Again, y is on the left side. That that's, uh, has to be for these right here. Less than or equal to. Less than or equal to says below. And less than or equal to down here says we're going to use a solid line. So let's go ahead and graph this. Okay, I'm going to go back to my y equals. So do diamond F1. Press clear to clear that out. And then I'll put in my x squared. So x key caret 2 plus 2x minus 1. And I'll press enter. And then I'm going to up arrow and highlight that, and I want to choose the style. So I do uh, second F1 to go into F6. And we just said below, so I want to choose uh, below, which is the eighth one. And you just press the number that's in front of it, so I do eight. And now I'm going to do my graph. So I do diamond F3 for graph. And uh, then this will give us our answer. Now, the what separates shaded region from non-shaded region will be a solid line. 
So let's see what we got. Okay, it's gonna look like. like that and then this is shaded here and that would be our answer and then to clear that out again you go back to your y equals so do diamond f1 and you can press clear and then to escape um, to escape <laughs> to, to quit out of this you do second escape and that gets you out of your graph and that's how you would graph um, linear inequalities in two variables on a T89 calculator.